There's other types. There's balding, thinning people in every city that each of you live in. It's always going to be a market for it. Wade Menendez has been a barber for 13 years, but over the last four, he's found himself catering to a unique clientele, bald men. This is Wade's class, where he instructs barbers and stylists in an emerging trend, men's hair weaves. But Wade prefers a different name. The technical term for this is cranial prothesis or hair prothesis. We want to get out of saying man weave. Guys are not going to be like, I want, you know, I want a man weave. No. All right. I usually call it a hair unit or a hair system. What exactly is a hair unit? It's like a toupee, but the way we do it is we cut it and style it to make it look like it's natural, like it's yours, like it's actually coming out of your scalp, but it's really not. I have a confession. I really wasn't focused on your eyeballs. I was looking at your fade, <laughs> trying to figure out <laughs> if that was a hair unit. Oh, God, yo, everybody always asks me that. Now, if I needed to wear a unit, I would, but I don't. OK, so Wade is blessed with a natural mane, but that hasn't stopped him from becoming the wizard of the weave or master of the faux fro. Okay. Make note of this. Uh, instead of saying balding, say your area of recession. This makes people feel a little, a little better about it. He has nearly 100,000 followers on Instagram, and people flock from across the globe to attend his sessions. You bought a plane ticket, you hotel, hotel and this class. How much was that? Between two and 3,000 pounds altogether. Maybe more, maybe less. But you consider that a worthwhile investment? 100%. Worth every penny. Be realistic. No grown man hairline is always down here. You know what I'm saying? So let's be realistic of where we gonna place it. While some men are excited about the unit's potential, many have a problem with wearing one. When it comes to men getting weaved, there's a stigma associated with it. Why do you think that's the case? I think a lot of guys have been against even the females getting weaves. And a lot of it comes from uh, you scared of what your, your boy's gonna say. Worried about getting fried by your homies, you know what I mean? A lot of the guys, they come, but they don't want anybody to know. Y'all ready? No? Y'all yeah. sure? No. <laughs> you like a magician. I done heard Barbara Jesus, uh, you know, wizard, all kinds of stuff. A magician never reveals his tricks. So Wade asked Vice News not to film the installation process. We're going to cut the cameras now at this point. So you can come back in about... Uh, uh, about 30 minutes. While the cameras were off, Wade glued natural and synthetic hair pieces to the scalp, blending them into Sam's natural hair. When I met you earlier, you were about 10 years older. Yeah, so pretty much. What's transpired since well, our first meeting? Well, the hair. I've been coming to Wade for over five years. I lost my hair at like late 20s. So to get this, and make it make me feel like I am at least 10 years younger, it just boosted my confidence. And I just, it weighs a blessing. I feel a lot better not having to put a do-rag or a baseball cap. It was something that I was ashamed of with the crown in my head. So now I feel better that I don't have to do that. So what did Wade just do for you? So he just installed the three or four month unit. Where was it before? Uh, before I was, I was bald into this. I look like George Jefferson a little bit, you know what I mean? Now tell me, how has these units changed your life overall? I mean, significantly. Before getting this, I started losing my hair like in my early 20s. Um, very depressed, didn't want to go out. If I didn't have like a fresh shape up, I would not go out the house, would not go anywhere. Um, but instantly getting this is like, I don't care. I'll go out, I don't care what time of day it is, when I run errands, like whatever. With the hair was an increase of confidence. Absolutely. So you walk in the streets with a new Absolutely. new strut, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And so yeah. in, the, in the in the bedroom with the wife, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it adds some confidence. It adds confidence everywhere. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah it does. How much does the, the initial service cost? Like if a client comes in, uh, it can range anywhere from two hundred to six fifty or so. Units can last from two weeks to four months, and then there's maintenance. That upkeep can be a regular haircut, a way you can take it off, wash it, and put it right back on. I don't recognize myself. 
<laughs> what is your typical clientele? At this point, I do more African-American guys than any other race. The Caucasian guys, kind of like, well, I don't really see him post much of our type of hair that much. There's only a few. You need to dip into that white money. <laughs> you tripping that white money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <that's... laughs> hair growth is estimated to be a $3.6 billion annual industry. And Wade is using fake hair to make real money. So how much money do you make a year doing just hair units alone? Uh, over 450000 Bruh. We project this year to be way more. You could corner the market. Why are you giving this information away? Because I, I feel like I'm doing this to help other people. I've had guys and, and ladies cry after they have the service done. This is crazy. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. I still can't believe it. This is crazy. <laughs> so when they see it, it's like a shock and it's like, oh my God, it's like, I'm a total different person. 